Aloha campers, this is Carl Dix, District 46, um, Republican Party. I'm here at headquarters um, to support the Republican Party and their slogan of Stand for Hawaii. We are looking for good men and women to stand with us and stand for the cause of putting the people of Hawaii first. Um, these Zoom meetings, originally they were using COVID as an excuse and really um, it's what they're doing is shutting us out, silencing our voice, because on Zoom, they just mute you. Um, we need to meet in person. And we, we um, also, we pointed out that the Zoom is a security risk. It's a breach in security every meeting that they have on Zoom. And they're saying that we violated confidentiality. They violated every week they have a Zoom and refuse to have in person. So we're here to I'm not going to violate it. I'm not going to go on Zoom. I'm going to be here in person. The COVID restrictions are actually, the mandates are lifted today. Um, this is just another way to silence us and keep us out of the inner circle. If, if I go on Zoom, I'm participating in a security breach. And that's what the email was last Saturday. We have a problem with Zoom. And that's why I'm here in person because I. If I go on Zoom again, I'm part of the violation there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw a little bit about the concerns about the um, security of Zoom, and I think that that's absolutely something that we should address. Yeah. In the moment, the way that it was handled, I have a completely different opinion, but... Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Actually, but, I but I think it bears... I, I, look, I can't wait to get back in person with everybody. Honestly, I really can't. Personally, I really can't wait to be able to see each other in person, doing what we do together in one room, voicing our opinions, raising our hands, looking each other eye to eye and saying, hey, I agree with you, or hey, you know what? I see it this way, let's talk about it, right? That, Brett did it. 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 It's For already the possible. So they have technology well, we should, we should. to do I it. So you. their These excuse is they made. don't have it. Let me, if you'll hear me out, our plans have been made for this meeting. So to change in midstream, it's not my call, but I, I understand your point of wanting to be in person. I want to be in person too. Are you I can't understand that. But, but we you need are to get in person, person right? right? No, I'm just you are here in person. What gives the validity of you and not them? Exactly. It's I, I literally made the decision about an hour ago to come down here honestly so that I could see you guys. So that Perfect. I could come out front, Thank you. have Thank a conversation, you. and also say, I'll be available after this meeting. If anyone wants to have lunch, let's do that. Perfect. Would anyone Second like to have lunch? All, what Emil, you especially, you should have lunch with me. Stop hating on me on email. Real quick, there's a lot of district chairs that did not get their link yet. Yeah. And what is the, there was no proof by the body that they were supposed to have a 24-hour limit. I don't know where in the room. Because they have to sign on to this Zoom link 24 hours prior to the meeting to be accepted. Where was that authority given per ticket? Isn't the body have to have the power? It's never been brought before the committee. Yes, I understand. Did all of the, well, I think that was a matter of being a little more secure, right? Offering a second step, like we all have to with our cell phones and things like that. I understand it may not be. How can we allow to come in here during Scott Pressler's visit without any no problems whatsoever, but yeah. we can't participate in the meeting. <coughs> Again, I, that, that was that's the third time I'm being asked this question. Okay. I don't have an answer for that, but I do have to get him inside. I think the meeting's already started. Why him only? There's yeah. a lot of district chairs that need to. I, I, received not, I just know that they were expecting Steve in person. He didn't pre-register. Oh, oh, so they they weren't sure. No, 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 no. no. Well, he didn't register at all. So honestly, they didn't I'm know what. They didn't know what. Yeah. What your plans? There's no requirement. This is this is a meeting to hear out Steve Lipscomb's no, concerns. No, it's not. It is. No, 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 it's not. Let me tell, is let that is a you. violation of the rules. No, let me stop you right there. Yeah. Last week's meeting was to hear your concerns. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect, because it was called for the 19th. No, it was called for last. No, because we were at that district meeting at 45. We had that discussion okay, at the well, end. Okay. So, I mean, to your point, so. Manini no, 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 point. No, 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 no. We all gathered last week. No, no, hold on. Just, we all it's gathered. It's the voice of the people okay, versus okay, unilateral. Just, sorry, sorry. Okay. So, one third of the state committee asked for the meeting to be scheduled on February 19th. Mm -hmm. For no reason at all, that meeting was scheduled on February 26, which displaced, which displaced, which displaced an executive committee that was already scheduled. I took a screen capture of the February calendar. There was nothing scheduled on February 19th. So there was some reason that it was not. Yes, I the, heard. The I was voice of the there state the committee process. was I not understand. heard. 
Okay. There was a conflict from what I understand, so it was moved there was, back. There was no conflict. You don't know that, Steve. Uh, so I it was moved back I've for got a week. calendar. I've got a screenshot, so just tell me what the conflict there was. There was a conflict but I'm not with from you, my though. understanding. Want, no, 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 let's be yeah. transparent. Okay, yeah. From what I understand. Just tell me what the rule was. What was the conflict? I don't know the details. Okay, of well, let me finish, please. Okay. From well, I mean, what you I cut understand, me off. I was, me, I was still okay, not finished. But now I'm answering the concern. Okay. So the concern on the table was that the meeting was pushed back from the 19th to the 26th. From the little bit of information that I had and from what I was informed, there was a conflict that the chair of our party had on that day. So, because she was integral to the hearing you out and it's, having an open meeting of the state committee. Well, actually, she was that's not true. When she wasn't because there. That's this all is, that information. No, no, she shouldn't even well, be chairing the exactly. meeting because she is the one in violation well, here. Well, she's she's the, the one that shows Anyone that would like to talk with me after the meeting? I'm late for the state meeting. You're welcome to come in with me, but... I gotta what about the I rest of the go. digital? Answer my question. I told you what I about the rest? When I, if you heard what I said, okay. Carl, I will ask when I get in back. Okay. And and so, I think well, I have your cell phone. My, my issue about well, it. he's right he's here. We have District 21. Did not get a link. He's wanting to get District a link. District 48 did not get a link. Again, can I, can I capture all this right now on the spot? But I will go and ask if anyone else is it. King, who is, is the person to provide the answer as to why we can't I don't know, enter into I'm the building? Right okay, right so what's your question? My, my, wow. my, 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 my primary concern is about Zoom because I actually look on the message board that for a bunch of hackers, friends we know, and they have a tutorial on YouTube where you can show how to hack and get any information. Yeah, I'm sure Zoom. you can hack a thousand things. We're no, going actually, inside. No, all it takes is a single app that they developed. You just have to install it. See you guys it. after the meeting. Yeah. So this is how 101, section 101, freedom for the people is. Rules for me and not for thee. Welcome to the truth. Yes, go ahead. No, I know. I thought you had to go to a meeting. Okay. Hi, hi, Ruth and I'm Laura. I came out in good faith yes. to talk to everybody about uh -huh. how we can come together. Yeah, really. Yeah, so, so welcome I've to what I can. rules. So how are you representing to the people right now, silencing the voice of the districts? Well, I'm not yelling in anyone's face, I can tell you that. Yeah, and I'm late well, for a meeting that I was duly This is not yelling to me respectfully, because so I'm a construction worker and I'm yeah, slightly deaf. Yeah, I gotta get in sight. I love you guys. God is good. Not for me. God is, no, no, no. Yeah, that's you, Charlotte. Don't lie. Don't, don't lie. lie. Don't lie. Everybody can pre register. They had that opportunity. Oh, yeah. I, Where I don't know. Room and then when we Where talk that about that when we talk about when we're going to regather in person, we'll do that. Hey, we're here. Oh, so we can gather oh, with yeah. Pressler, but we can't time. gather oh, now. Charlotte, stop. Have a great day. We'll be waiting here for you when your meeting's done. Where's our national committee man? Where's Gene Ward? Gene Ward. Gene Ward is our minority and yes. Welcome to Hawaii. Huh? Oh, what a representative. Aloha. <laughs> Gene Ward is our minority leader. Emer Emeritus. Emeritus. <laughs> Emeritus. Not only has he been a local business owner, but I didn't know about this. He is a trainer for small businesses for the UN, and that's been his, in his resume. Thank you for your years and decades long of service, uh, Representative. I was in the Peace Corps also. And Peace Corps. And today's Peace Corps Day, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much, Representative Ward. Be very, very quiet. We're going to hunt rhinos.
Yeah. Gotta love it. Yeah, We're all I'm, one I'm, zoomed, I'm zoomed in. I'm not able to <laughs> So I, I they did allow me into the zoom so you oh, can see what's oh, going on. Oh, 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 so afraid, so afraid. Wait, look at that, look at that. At least they finally put somebody in front of the window to help distort the sound. My name is Wendell Elento and I'm a man on a mission because the first activity I joined for the Republican Party was a stolen election. And since then, I've been asking the same question. How are these guys getting away with it? And every day, every week, every month, we've had four elections, all fraudulent. They're hiding behind Zoom. It is conflicted, compromised, and they use it to their advantage to silence us. Look at this, 16 patriots, district chairs, can't even go inside. Thank you very much. You got the picture now. That's what we're doing. We're just trying to set people's voices free. Free. That's all we got. Right? Free. Thank you. I said some, additionally some of the district okay. okay, so this is why it's so nuts. For, for two weeks we've been telling them we should be in person. Why? Because we're the party of COVID freedom. Republicans in the, you know, in the nation, we're about COVID freedom. You know? And so here we are in Hawaii abiding with Governor Ige, staying close. Why? Because it's a narrative. They just want to protect their heinies. Make sure the, the guys who know the truth to speak up don't get involved in these meetings. Why? Because they just want to ramrod their way, which is what? Corruption. Corruption. Thank you very much. We need to do a point of order. Remedy of action taken by an executive board is null and void. This is the process of the Roberts Rules of Order. If the executive board of a society takes action that exceeds the board's instructions or authority, that conflicts with the decision made by the assembly of the society, or that fails under the categories listed in 23.6, a point of order can be raised at the board meeting at any time during the continuance of the breach. My name is Alika Valdez. I'm a District 27 Precinct Secretary and I feel that uh, these people are not letting us in. I feel like it's wrong. I don't, why would we wear masks and all the states are not wearing masks, you know. I, I, and this is what I really want to say, go maskless. Almost a dozen of us representing our districts are not being allowed to participate in person in this meeting. This is tantamount and equivalent to what is happening on the mainland with the Democratic Party, with wokeism and cancel culture. Already we have a David and Goliath situation. The Republican Party in this state is the smallest out of any state in America. No, a house divided against itself cannot stand. This is ludicrous. For all intents and purposes, cancel culture is happening within the party itself. All right, we stand for freedom, liberty, and God-given rights. Aloha to you, the people. And I'm here at the headquarters to represent my district, but I'm not allowed to go in. Why? I don't know. It looks like they have technical difficulties or whatever the excuse is now, but you know, we cannot take it anymore. If they promote this year that we will stand for Hawaii, that's why we are here for. We want to stand for Hawaii. We want to take over the Republican Party because, you know, it looks like it's taking over by somebody who doesn't represent the uh, interests of we the people here in this state. That's all. You know, they, they want us to mask and I see video of all the people that make the rules that people need to wear a mask, which I know is very bad. I'm not happy that they are telling us that we cannot um, go into the Republican Party office. I, I think it's it's very unfair and it just shows where we are. Hi, my name is Joelle Seashell. I live in District 20, which is Palolo. And I've recently gotten involved in my district and in my precinct. So I don't really know how things work, but I'm taking it one step at a time. I'm trying to uh, be civically engaged and make a difference because there's a lot of things that need to change. So I showed up to the um, headquarters this morning thinking that I would be able to participate in a meeting and learn more about how the processes work and I don't know about the history of things. I've only been maybe a month or so involved on this level and so it's a little strange to me that 
we had a meeting but we can't even go inside I was actually here about three weeks ago maybe with Scott Pressler and um, they invited us inside no problem nobody had to wear masks nobody had to prove any kind of vaccination and so for them to keep the door shut now and not let us in and be able to participate it's a little bit um, disconcerting I'm confused I don't understand the reasoning behind why we have to zoom now and just a few weeks ago uh, Scott Presser came from the mainland and brought all his potential you know bugs with him viruses and then no problem there but we can't now so yeah hi my name is Ruben Balidoy um, Vice Chair District 47 yeah so I joined the Republican Party because I was tired of the same old same old going on and we came to a meeting to the Republican, Hawaii Republican Party here, as you can see, and they locked us out. And I am a legitimate uh, party member. Uh, we have quorum, and they locked us out. I don't understand why. So, a bit confused here uh, why our party leaders are locking out uh, upstanding members of the Republican Party. Thomas, you want to say something real quick? <laughs> it's fat man, but yes, okay. I'm here to annoy the Republican Party rhinos because I'm hunting their ideals. Be very, very quiet. We're going to have a lot of fun with doing this because I'm a clown and I don't like not having fun. Uh, with what's the, everything going on right now, they're literally kicking me in the teeth. I actually, this is the one thing I can, a couple things I can tell you. Because there's an NDA, it's annoying, but one of the things I can tell you is they're not following through. They're actually coming close to actually breaking contract. And right this second, me putting this out there on TV, on podcasts, both mine and this one and Olelo, I'm pointedly saying this because this allows me to start going to arbitration and eventually civil lawsuit. So Republican Party, in the, in the main one over in the mainland, get your ducks in robes because we need to fix this. Honestly, please. I really don't want to go all the way to court. Arbitrations are annoying enough, all right? Let's have a little bit of fun.